it's always so hard to start um so here we are again back in this space holding my camera with my hand literally no makeup just threw my hair up in a messy bun i have deodorant stains all over my shirt and i'm wearing the same shorts that i've been wearing for the past like three or four days um it's kind of a different video i guess to what i've been posting but i'm just um having one of those days where everything feels complex and it feels like you know i finally get clarity on something on what i'm trying to do on like my brand or like my youtube or instagram and then i think about it i'm like no i don't know if this is the right move i'm like getting so stuck and then thinking about you know financials and all that fun stuff and like how am i realistically gonna make money and like knowing what works really well on my instagram is like fashion posts but like i don't want to be supporting fast fashion like fashion nova or like pretty little thing like i don't want to be doing that anymore that's not something that aligns with like who i am and what i want to support so i'm really having this struggle of what to do and where to go um and i don't really have answers at all so i guess that's why i'm coming on here i've just been struggling with the whole authenticity of it all and trying to figure that out like especially with my instagram i've been trying to kind of make it into a more positive, productive space that brings value, you know, tips and tricks, productivity hacks, all of this stuff, but like that content isn't doing well and that's probably because my audience isn't like aligned to that. And I don't know if I'm even truly aligned to that. So it's just like this struggle of trying to figure out what to do. You know, I'm listening to this podcast and it was saying like in the earlier days like flexing is what got you you know the followers and the and the clout and like whatever on instagram whether or not it was real or fake it was the flexing that got you there and i think that's still the case today they were saying that it switched a little bit but for the most part like it's switching over to authenticity gets you there and that's what's going to convert you know when you use influencer marketing that's what's going to convert people to to customers right but it also is like it still feels like flexing is what's getting you there you know these like useful posts that i'm trying to make aren't doing well but then i'll post like a fashion pic and everyone will like comment but it's like again fast fashion you know like i've been working with the same sets of clothes for the past two and a half months because i just left Canada with a backpack like a giant travel backpack not just like a small backpack but you know I don't know I guess that's just what I wanted to come on here and say it's probably going to be a pretty short and sweet video um because I'm just trying to figure that all out and you know even on here I've been trying to make travel videos but again, it feels like I'm so like disorganized going into things like that. And again, I don't know if that's like, if I'm at the place where I'm adding value to the people around me anymore. So if anyone has any tips, ideas, anything at all, let me know. Um, I'll keep you updated if I find some sort of method to keep freelancing that is also, you know, you don't have to sell your soul and like do all that shit. Uh, but until then, I'm just gonna keep working on, I guess, trying to get the clarity around who I am and what I'm trying to promote. And hopefully something turns up and works out. But yeah, um, I'm trying to stay consistent as well on everything. So this is your video for Friday. And it's just me having a little rant. A little ranty rant moment. So, all right. I will catch you on Monday with some travel content of some sort.
some way, shape, or form. So, you got any tips? Let me know, and I'll see you later.